guys and welcome to my cooking channel Sonia here and today I'm making a hummingbird cake I have never made a hummingbird cake before but I thought it would be a good cake for Easter for springtime it just sounds right so I'm going to start off with mixing my dry ingredients so I have my KitchenAid mixer with a sand mixer with a whisk attachment and I'm going to whisk all my dry ingredients. So that includes flour, sh flour, and I have three cups. I have sugar. And I have two cups of sugar. And then I have cinnamon, baking soda, and salt, a teaspoon of each. And I'm going to whisk that until it's combined. This video is also part of a hop, Easter baking hop that I am hosting and I have a bunch of very talented ladies joining me. So there will be a video for you to jump over to after you are finished watching my video. The link will be in the description box and by the time you are finished with uh, watching that one, she will have another link in her description box and eventually you will make the full circle back to me. We are hoping to give you tons of Easter baking inspiration for the upcoming holiday. So while that's whisking, I'm going to get my 9 inch pans ready and I have two of them and they're the round 9 inch pans. And you will need some parchment paper. And some spray cooking spray I have just bought the coconut oil one and you want to spray the pan add your parchment paper and lightly spray that as well So I think that's well combined and now I'm going to get my um, other ingredients ready so I will need to do uh, so I have mashed up my bananas already there's about five very ripe bananas mine were actually frozen because they were so ripe uh, when I froze them so I just microwaved them a little bit to soften up and then uh, I used my little handy tool from Pamper Chef to mash them. And then you will also need three eggs, which I have beaten already. One and three quarter, one and a quarter cup of oil, and then a cup of pineapple or eight ounces. I mean, uh, eight ounces of crushed pineapple with juice, and then also some vanilla two teaspoons and then a cup of crushed pecans now this is optional so i will be crushing mine with my chopper So I'm going to turn my mixer back on and I'm going to whisk in my eggs. My oil. My pineapple juice. my pineapples with the juice, all of my mashed bananas, and 
and about two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm going to add my pecans. So as you can see, the batter is quite thick. You also want to at this time preheat your oven to 350. I'm going to divide the batter evenly into my prepared pans. So once the almonds preheated, they go in for about 25 to 30 minutes until the toothpick is clean once removed. So one of these cakes is done. And the way I know is when I poke it, it comes out clean. The other one still needs a little bit more time, so I'm just going to move it to the middle. Do not pay attention to my dirty stove. My self-clean is broken, I'm waiting to get it fixed. So now that they're both done, um, you're supposed to let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before you take it out of the pan. I just want to mention, because originally I said it goes into the oven between 25 and 30 minutes, it actually took closer to hour for that one and about hour and 10 minutes for the other one. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if it's my oven or if it's just, it is what it is. So this one had already enough time to sit and rest. So I'm going to transfer it to the rack and cut it in half. I'm actually going to let it completely cool before I cut it. So now while the cakes are cooling, I'm going to get my cream cheese icing ready. And for that, you need one cup of unsalted butter. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to whisk it until it's whisked. <laughs> and I'm also going to add some cream cheese. And this all should be at room temperature. Sorry. 
So you want it to be fluffy and then you want to turn down your mixer to the lowest speed and add the confectionery sugar very slowly. You can also use the protective cover so it doesn't uh, dust everywhere. And that was about three and a half cups of sugar. You can also make four cups of it if you want the icing to be thicker, but then it's a little bit harder to spread on top. So now that the sugar is all incorporated, I'm going to turn it back on to high. I'm going to add some two teaspoons of vanilla and two teaspoons of pineapple juice. Okay, I think this is good. So here's what it looks like. So I'm going to attempt to cut it in half. I don't have a fancy knife, uh, cake cut cutting knife, but I think this one should work. Flip it without breaking. Okay. So it is still a touch hot in the middle, so I'm going to let that dry, uh, cool some more. So I'm going to place the first layer on this spinning tray and I had made uh, a cake tray out of cardboard and aluminum foil just for easy transport and then my icing and you don't want your layer of icing to be too thick So now carefully put the second layer on. Hopefully the cake won't be too lo too lopsided. <laughs>
now I'm going to add the rest of the icing. Now, if you were professional, you could cut off the sides and level the cake more. Now for the top, I'm just going to sprinkle some chopped up walnuts. I chopped up about another quarter of the walnuts, quarter cup of the walnuts. I don't I don't mind the way it looks but um, it could be a little bit more smoother over here and maybe add a little bit more icing if you wanted to I would do a maybe a batch and a half that way you have for sure enough but I can't wait to dig into it and see how it tastes I will leave a comment pin comment in the, the comments of the video to let you know how it tasted well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you share it with a friend and if you're not subscribed I would love it if you press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future upload. I have tons of these hops coming your way once a month at least so make sure that notification bell is on and also don't forget to check out the video in my description box and everyone else's description box so you make the full circle back to me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.